kill someone on Valentine's Day. Hey, hmm? is that your boat? Yeah, well, why do you care? I was hoping you'd take me for a ride. Really? Ha! <laughs> yes! What's up, everybody? Iris UV back here with yet another video. But before we hop into it, I want to thank RustyPot.com for sponsoring today's video. They're currently doing a $6,900 giveaway for 69 lucky winners. If you're interested, the link's in the description below. And one more thing before we start the main intro. I just wanted to say thanks for letting me know how much you cared about the solo series. I really appreciate all the criticism and constructive feedback. And so upon those requests, we're going to finish the solo series in this video. Which means it's going to be packed and it's going to be long. And some stuff may seem skimmed through, but I promise to give as much context as I can. But keep in mind, we got to keep the story going. And we've got to explain a lot in this video. But before we even go into that, we got to go over what happened last video. So it all started when I decided to raid my neighbor's furnace base. I successfully managed to do that and got quite a bit of metal frags and metal ore. Soon after that, I hear footsteps around my base and it's quite a few people. One of the people starts banging on my door. Whilst the other two discuss ways they're going to raid my base and how much it would probably cost. And at first, I was pretty sure my neighbors wouldn't have enough explosives to get into my base because it was pretty well constructed. However, apparently they had an alliance with a larger group who were willing to contribute some boom because I had killed them in the past as well. So from my standpoint, I seemed like I was just a big thorn in the side to everybody in the area. But while all these conversations were happening, the guy who was banging on the door hadn't stopped yet. He just kept going. So eventually I started talking to him and he turned out to be a pretty cool guy and we developed a mutual respect for each other. But since they still were planning on raiding my base, I decided to upgrade as much as I could. Whilst I was doing that, I was immediately pestled in the back by two AK guys as soon as I left my base. A couple minutes later, I had been hearing a flurry of gunshots that sounded like the two AK guys fighting my neighbors. So I showed up, cleaned house, found quite a bit of boom on one of the guys. But what I didn't take was my neighbor's loot. I specifically left it and didn't try to immediately run back after banking to get it. And once my neighbor found that out, he decided to ask for an alliance, which I immediately agreed to. So now that the hostilities were taken care of, I went to bed shortly after that. The next day, I woke up to a raid, headed over and counter raided. The base didn't have any sulfur, but did have a lot of tier three and tier two loot. And since they had already put in most of the explosives required to raid it, it was pretty cheap on my end. But now, for the people who have watched this entire series, you'll remember in episode 1, I mentioned that I had just all the components that I needed for a really good trap base. I decided to try my hand at it and see what I could do. So without any further intro, I hope you guys enjoy. But yeah, I definitely want to do a raid. I also wanted to get this shop set up. I don't have to get it finished, uh, per se. I just need to make sure that it actually, like, has the bones of it down. Because if, if I don't... Then I don't feel like I'm ever going to get it done this wipe. And that's like something that I've said before and many times I wanted to focus on because I got so lucky with so many things. I mean, the auto turrets is what I'm going to use. I'm not going to end up using the uh, shotgun traps like I, listed, like I initially thought. And the uh, shotgun trap design, that or uh, whatever, trap base design, shop trap base design, whatever, that I initially had thought about using, ended up, I ended up seeing it in another YouTuber's video. And like, I'm not really worried about people like being like, oh, you just copied this guy. But I am saying, like, I, I want to have, like, an idea that I haven't seen before. My idea is fundamentally different. It would look pretty sus anyways, so I'm thinking about a new idea. So the place that I actually want to set it up, I've changed my mind a little bit. So I want it to be a little bit more accessible to the people that are coming from, like, the beach or, like... I mean, I wouldn't really say... When I say coming from the beach, I don't really mean, like, people who are farmers or people who are just starting out. Because most people on this server aren't starting up. They've been playing for a hot minute. Once again, I need to actually, like, I'm... <laughs> This isn't a finished product in my head, even in my head, but we're just going to kind of go with it and hope.
not sure. I think this is the best it's gonna get for me. I'm not a good trap base guy. I just have to make it look really inviting, I guess. I got too fucking good at getting my loot other ways. I can put a uh, shotgun trap here. So if they stand right here, they they won't be able to get close to the door anymore to even toss out loot. And he, this is one shotgun trap will prevent them from leaving. And then, oh, that's beautiful. And then once they come here, I break that. And then there's an auto turret on the bottom level that takes them out. That they won't be able to hear because I'm going to have furnaces running in here. I think that's the play. And that way, all I need is some power, a door controller, and the ceiling lights will definitely cover that up. All right, so the bait portion of this base is going to be the fact that there's an open repair bench table. And then this is what's going to keep people from stepping back this way. And then if they try to come in at me after I break this, they will be flamed. And the auto turret goes below. I'll have to figure out the semantics. I think this might work actually. Oh shit. I have a lot of shit on me that I kind of want to keep, but I just want to look at this. Oh jeez. Is this a 1v1? Wow. The guy on the bottom is winning too. Guess I'm pushing. Man, how about I wish I had a semi right now? Thought he had coffee kit on. Oh shit. Oh, extra switches at home. Take a second look at this fella. Nothing really crucial on him. I have plenty of hazmats. This guy's sorry. More bullets. Just gonna have another switch at home. Fuck it. I mean, I'll run back see if I can get it all, but I'm not gonna get too greedy with it. Eventually, I got a loot from the fight that I wanted. I proceeded on to the hardest task of the day, which is wiring up the trap base. And it wouldn't have been difficult if this wasn't a trap base. The reason that it sucked is because I had to find a way to basically glitch the wire into the roof so you couldn't see it from the inside or the outside. So after I managed that, I was ready for business. But there were a few people who tried to run by the trap base without coming inside that I decided to hunt down. Hey man. Hello? Hey, you interested in some corn, brother? It's for one scrap. You can get a piece of corn in here if you're hungry. It's right in here. Oh shit, it's not set up. Where'd he go? Where the fuck did he go? What the heck? There he is. He's running with his friend. I think they have an auto turret. Should have bought the corn! Ah, I'm pretty bad at the customer now. Oh my lord. I thought they'd have shit. Wait, would they have the thing I need? Maybe? What could? Oof. Large oof. I feel like they're trying to bait me into like trying to see if I can open the door and there's an auto turret behind or something. I don't know. But I don't really mind. I'm just gonna grind here and then 
I'm a little sussed out about the chopper, but I think I can hide in the, the green hole if I really need to. Probably just gonna drop this stuff off and go back for the rest of the other shit I can grind. Oh, see. What they thought they were doing was baiting me, but too smart. I don't hear an auto trip on that. But, um, yeah, the spikes are to bait you to look up. Yeah, it makes sense, though. Oh, is he about to go grind? Nice. Not really a weapon suited for long range combat. This guy's probably loaded too. Yep. Why weren't these guys here the first day of wipe? Holy, or like the first day of wipe. But the first day I was here, man. They're all sprouting up now and I'm like fucking fully established, dude. I was looking everywhere for these fucking guys, man. After everything was grinded up, I decided to take a break from recording and to just chill out in the trap base and see if anybody would come my way. Eventually, we got a bite. One scrap, my guy. One scrap for one corn, my guy. Okay. At my shop, if you want to come check it out. I, I'm set, I'm trying to set up the hazmats right now, too. Yeah, man. I like it. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you need some scrap. I need, like, I've never had this, like, work. So, like, what I want you to do is here. Tr get, here's some scrap. Here, buy some corn with my scrap. Let's do a trade shop window. If you click E on it. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, you can't really leave right now. This is a good test run. Yeah. You want to see something even cooler? <laughs> Fucking toasted. <laughs> Oofed. <laughs> no, dude. Why does he keep farming and coming over here? He gets so much. Oh, I got my corn back, too. Oh. Uh. Before you guys go and say I'm being just the biggest asshole, which I can see your point, I want to mention something. These guys are fully aware that the guy that killed them less than five minutes ago or 10 minutes ago lives in this trap base. The reason I know this is because this guy who I kill right after. Where are these guys from? Is the guy that ran away from my base after I told them to come into the shop. So I hunt these two guys down, say you should have gone into the shop and I kill them and then their friend comes into the same area, I kill him, and then they come back here to farm, and they actually go in the base. I can't be blamed for this, okay? This is their fault. If anything, I'm doing them a service by telling them, hey, this is not a good area to build. And if that 2x2 two two trap base of theirs is indeed their base, the one that they were standing outside the front of, then why in the hell did they fall for this trap so easy? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to think about this anymore. Dude, what the fuck? Is he just like, they're just like, he'll get sick of killing us eventually. Like, fuck. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> What's up, guys? I just signed on and uh, my base is decaying. So I'm going to try to just immediately raid. It's just something that I feel is a good idea. Because every single time I go, I farm, I spend all this time trying to make sure I have enough upkeep for the base. And then... I just it's just the amount of time you spend on it is ridiculous. I just want to raid a base. Doesn't matter which one for like at least a K metal frags. We have the explosives, we just haven't used them. And uh if we don't, we're gonna start losing our base little by little. We're gonna upkeep the base a little bit, but I'm I'm just I'm tired of farming metal ore and then for, I mean I didn't farm too much like throughout the entirety but like for how much explosives we have we shouldn't have to farm at all but I just I just don't have the time to like even like raid the acceptable amount that I want to okay also 
I might raid that base up the hill because these guys have been causing a lot of trouble with their auto turrets. I mean, it's something I didn't record, but basically I made a few pop-up AK plays against a group of three that was coming over here. And, like I was putting loot there because I couldn't hold it all. But these guys, these same people over there to the left, I'm pretty sure have a base up here. Oh, do they build up? No, it's the same. They have like two auto turrets in their front door. You can hear them, man. Yeah. Pretty sure I know how to bait these out. So I've done it once before. I might just blow them up. I think it's out. Wow. Oh. I should not have baited this one out too, but it's just fucking hard. But. One of the uh, things I had to be done no matter what was the, um, was the breaking that shotgun trap that's on the roof. So I had to splash damage that either way. Oh, there's two of them apparently. Good thing I'm honestly good thing I threw all those hatches, except for the one I missed. That was the only one that I regret. Yeah, and then this is their base, I'm pretty sure. Clear. Yeah, splashable as fuck. Covering ourselves. Wall rating. I don't even think we have enough. I think we do with satchels actually. I guess we're on the TC. It's a lot of meds. To C4. I don't really use C4 when I raid, so we're just gonna pop it down. Bug it. Building plan and hammer. I don't think we're gonna be able to build, but whatever. And then Satchel for TC. Oh, it, it, okay, splashed. Lit. We got explosives or er, metal. Easy clap. Oof. So over a thousand scrap. I think that's a sulfur return, not including the C4, because you got that from the raid four bean cans. Some stuff over there. Just enough to raid the base. Pretty scuff though. Pretty scuff. Not gonna lie. I managed to transfer the rest of the loot from that base back to mine without any issue. But I had had my sights set on something bigger ever since I got that full inventory of sulfur. That amount of free loot is absolutely insane. So I want to do something big with it. Something that would give some freedom to the bases around me and to the server in general. But somebody had already raided the large tower that was here when I initially started up. But a new base had taken over and of course as soon as their tower was high enough, whenever they were online, Bolties and L96s were the only thing you ever heard. And to top it all off, it was the base I went deep on and took over that eventually decayed and the original owners took back over, only to turn it into a roof camp base. So I thought a good present for the server that treated me so well was to take it out. So that's exactly what we did. So we're just gonna go in. There's like, there's not a better way to do this than just like go in, but what I am gonna get, what I am gonna do, just to be safe, is at least do a quick check of my outdoor. All right, that's it. Like, <laughs> if I died with all this, I it's, all I would have to do is get more metal frags and I could make it this exact same amount and a little bit more if I really wanted to. All right, here we go.
I think it's empty. It is. Holy. Didn't see that other one. I'll be honest. I know this back one's also empty. Now the question becomes, where the fuck is their front door? What? I thought this was empty. What the fuck? Wow. Fuck me dead. That was insane. We're going back to get some more meds. <laughs> what the fuck? That same one aggroed me on me for like 30, 40 seconds straight. I don't know how to raid this base. Now that I think about it, I don't know. I mean, I think I honestly use lighters and go to the roof. That's seeming like the... Like by far the best option out of what I've been given so far. So what we're going to do is go up here. Oof. Spicy. Alright, we're going up. I don't know if there's any more auto turrets up here. It doesn't look like it. But if I remember correctly... Okay, so they're doing some like weird shotgunny bullshit. Right here. So my prediction is I probably want to break down straight still. I still think a straight is really good. And the main reason for that is that if I break down straight here, what I'll find is um, hopefully that if they don't have a floor there, I can skip down to the first layer and go from there. That's what I think. Oh, they fucking high called it. Shit, they're smart. They're smart enough. So I was right in that if if there was like a regular, even a sheet metal wall there, that would have been beautiful way to rate it. So do we go? I think we go from what I do know, which is I know that this is probably like the drop down point. So I guess we'll do that. Fuck. Guess we're splashing. You don't think that they went straight down to their front, right? You don't think, so it'd be like, right, this, there's no way this one drops straight down twice the ladder hatches. At that point, I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to predict. How are they so smart with their high quality? But then, like, I, I'm perplexed. I thought I understood this base pretty well. I mean, I feel like they just fucked up in the building and it fucked me over, all right? I'm gonna be, I don't wanna be that guy, but I, I had this base, like the way it should have been built down pat. These guys just fucking the second building. All right. Oh, is that ladder hatch? Okay, actually not bad. Actually like the best thing that could have happened when it came to this. I just want a fuck ton of metal frags and enough explosive ammo to keep going tomorrow or something. <sighs> that fucking auto to it, holy shit. All right, we're gonna splash this just in case. Ah, I guess should do it here. It might break the ladder that we have placed, but we're crafting more anyways. I know it's not gonna be anything extra good. Okay. Very sketch. Very, very sketch. Okay, my semi went one spot and my body went in the other. Well, all right. Yikes. Uh, maybe it would be easy to bait this. I have no idea. I think I had it there for a second. No, it's not worth risking that. I have to go crap my ladders and come back. All right, so now this time I'm gonna be a little bit smarter about it. I'm gonna make some, uh, just a metric fuck ton of meds after this. And then after that, I'm also gonna bring some wood, or not wood, uh, some corn or something. Just something to fucking heal me that isn't bandages or my meds. I'm just gonna quickly go back and grab my semi and go from there. Maybe I should try to bait it out actually right now. Cause I think we can if we really try. It's just getting past this flame turret that's kind of just stopped me from doing it every time. What? All right. I probably could have speared that up. I, I probably could have really speared that out if uh, 
I had the patience to, and I'd probably get some free uh, bullets out of it, but... And that's why I think if I was really trying to go for max profit, that's what I'd probably try to do. So now I think we should try to see if we can bait this or not. I didn't bring any fucking bandages. This roof is honestly the main reason it's going to be hard. Oh, and there's a second one. Holy shit, dude. I can probably shoot it out after the satchel pretty easily. Just gonna... <sighs> it actually fell down the fucking hall. Of course, it. what else would it have done? I think I have four bean cans somewhere. Do I have satchel research on here? I do. Now, please don't fucking dead on me. Thank you. I think I hit it again. Please. Fuck, man. And there's a shotgun trap there, too. Oh, my gosh. This is insane. Now we wait 30 seconds for the satchel. Dude, if this satchel doesn't blow, and then like I have to hope it just breaks the shot. I can see the shotgun trap, though. I'm just going to have to hope it blows it, too. Wait, can I, did I just fucking bait that? No, 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 fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. I think I got it. It broke it. It didn't get the shotgun trap though, but if I drop right here... Clean. I forgot! I can't even tell you how much I hate this fucking game. I thought it was a satchel that I... That was on just the... Oh my god. Okay, so that's gone. Now, to slowly and surely make sure I don't fuck this up. Okay, I have a ladder here. I'm gonna put a ladder here. Take the corn seed. Take the rock. Okay, I did it. That's a third dud. Fourth dud, maybe? Okay, it blew up. It blew up. It blew up. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. So there's nothing in here. So this is where I not only overestimated the base, but the players inside it as well. I started to blow to the front of the base in hopes that it would cost me one to two garage doors and then the rest would be open. And it took me going through a couple doors, literally shooting out an auto turret, and then blowing one of the garage doors to find out that wasn't the case. But then I remembered something from my video. Because as I said earlier, I went deep on these guys when they were making the outline of the base. And that's when I realized something very important. The foundation, the stone one, that I had blown straight down to from the ladder hatch was connected directly to where they put the TC when I had initially gone deep. This was extremely important for one main reason. It meant if I broke out this foundation, I would have easy access to the TC. And although I got a few gear sets from going to the front of the base, if I had just taken the time to think about this, I might have saved some explosives. So here's what I found once I broke out that foundation. Three, two, it takes so long to pick by yourself. I can't see anything. Oh. Oh, they left it how it was. This is so fucking huge. This is the reason that I wanted to pick this so bad before doing anything else. Okay, that's huge. Is because of this specific reason. The reason that, oh, and I can off on it and, oh. The reason that you can't do uh, the thing, I, I'm trying to think, my English is going to fucking crash on me. Oh, they never even locked it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to make a new one anyways, but I'll, I'll code log this. There's a sleeper in there with an AK right there. Oh my. And we got it.
Oh my gosh, there's a fucking auto turret. It's not letting you place a wall either. There's a few tricks you can do with these. This is one of them that I'm going to be teaching you right now. After I can hopefully loot these guys. But yeah, basically when doors are placed like- Or when auto turrets are placed in between two lines of foundation. If you can place that twig, uh... That twig thing, there's a chance, not 100% that you can always do it. That you can block it off with a wooden door and then beat it to death. Until it breaks. So, that's what we're gonna do. Why can't- Why does this one feel small? Is this actually because- Yeah, this thing right here is fucking me. The fact that- Got it. Holy shit, I knew you could. Alright, that broke. What is this? Yep. Two stacks, the norm for them. Do you, holy shit, dude. I don't even have enough for a box. Yikes. I'm pretty sure that leads to the front door because I can see the light to the wall. So what we're gonna do... 160, just splash these two as best we can. And we're gonna do the roof because there's no reason to do foundation. Finally, holy shit. Oh, I hope that's on all the sulfur. It might be, though, it is all the sulfur. But the metal frags, though, oh my gosh, that is unseen. A box and a half of metal frags. Damn. And with that, we're gonna call it for the solo series, at least for now. Um, new rule for these videos in specific, that uh, if I ever do a solo series or any series in general, I'm never gonna do more than four videos. And the primary reason for that is that it is exhausting editing old footage that you no longer have that initial hype for. Because that initial hype lasts like two to three weeks max for me. And it makes it very, very hard to go back and edit these types of videos for this duration. Unless it's something, like I said, that I've done not too far in the past. So for me, my new rule is going to be four videos per series. Um, some people may like that, some people may not. But it means we're going to have more new stories, more new things in general. So yeah, I really do appreciate all the fucking support the solo series has gotten and i hope the finale was everything you hoped for the only thing i can really apologize for is that i cut out some fights that i had primarily because it was just it just didn't move the story anywhere and that's part of the stuff that i skimmed over there were a couple fights that i had during this raid but no one ever actually took the time to check it out like to actually look at the raid to see if it was being raided so i got away with a lot of stuff also i did run out of sulfur slash explosives in the middle of this raid or should I say at the tail end of it for those last two garage doors? And what I basically did was farm a ton and then put it all into my furnaces and then, you know, obviously pretty much use up every bit of metal I had to get it all done. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. So without further ado, comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace out. And I fucking love you guys. Whew.